good morning good morning and welcome back to the theater it is friday i am so tired i just uh it'll be nice once i'm in blind channel because i will have a set start time every day and there's not much internet so i can't get distracted and be up late online so yeah i think my first week is going to be dedicated to like this girl needs to sleep in this girl or not sleep in go to sleep at a reasonable hour so yeah because i don't think it's gonna happen before i go because like oh my god today is friday <laughs> i'm off saturday sunday so it's nice because i can sleep in and then i have to come in monday and tuesday <laughs> because then i'm gone on wednesday Ah, I was gonna work three days next week, but I don't feel like going in on Sunday, so it is what it is. Anyways, I'm here, obviously. Um, I'm aiming for a short shift today and hoping that maybe I can have a nap before Dungeons & Dragons. I'm actually going to Dungeons & Dragons instead of doing it virtually today. So that'll be interesting. And um, yeah, but I would love to have a nap beforehand. So if I get off around noon, get home around one, I should be able to get a couple hours in, which is, would be greatly needed, especially because I'll be up until like, or I'll be at D&D probably until like 9, 30, 10 tonight, which is crazy. Um, I still have to do some food prep, some meal prep before I go out, which I should do today, but we'll see. We'll see how it goes. If not, I'll have to do it Saturday, like that's end of the line. And, um, yeah, and then obviously I need to do more packing slash repacking this weekend. <sighs> it's fine. Anyways, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna have my breakfast drink. I'm gonna get started. Um, I'm using my boop <laughs> mic again because I couldn't get the transmitter to turn on. I hate everything about it. I'll probably Google and see if it's a common issue to see if there's like a workaround. But anyways, this is this is what we're at for now and uh, we'll just, we'll work with it. So I'm gonna go breakfast drink and then start this day. I just picked up my camera <laughs> and I realized I didn't even plug the mic in. So good thing the camera has a mic, but oh, idiot. Just, this is, yeah. If this is any indication as to how the day is gonna go, it's gonna be great. Well, hello. Am I wearing the same shirt I wore yesterday at this moment? Yes, I just grabbed the two closest top and bottoms and so it's pajama pants and the same shirt from yesterday whatever it's fine anyways i am home now i have some hydrogen peroxide because i'm treating this weird it's almost seems like it's an ingrown hair or something on my leg um and it's just not going away i yeah so hydrogen peroxide it uh did that other thing on top of it polysporined it, bandaged it, so hopefully that will make a difference. Work was a short shift, which was nice. I helped one of the ladies I work with brainstorm on how to make effective and good seat covers for the seats in the theater, because going forward, they're, we're just gonna have covers for every single seat, and then when we have people that can come in, we'll just take the covers off the seats that the people can come into, so then the other seats stay clean, and then you don't have to clean 400 and something seats, you just have to clean the ones that have been used. So that's the plan, but figuring out the best way to cover them has been quite the adventure in like what type of fabric, if it's stretchy, how much does it need to be, blah, 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 blah. So our solution currently is basically a rectangle with magnets because there are metal parts on the seats and then so it should be good so that was good and then she and i also did an exchange i exchanged her a scrunchie and a little bit of cash for a wonder woman mask i know i've been making masks so it's not like i needed this but it does match my scrunchies which is pretty cool and hers unlike mine actually have um a gonna say an elbow part a nose part so you can bend it over so it's more so it's more fitted and it also has a filter pocket here and then these filters so you know if I need a little bit extra coverage I got that so yeah and I can wear my Wonder Woman scrunchie to match so she now has a Wonder Woman scrunchie to match her Wonder Woman mask <laughs> and I have a mask to match my scrunchie so yeah, this is 
nice to have extra so I'll throw that in my bag to bring it out with me I'm thinking um, and then that plus my bog mask I should be covered for like times when I really really need to have some intense protection I'm thinking mostly in case of uh, forest fire smoke if that's a thing this year because that's why I bought my bog mask last year and then otherwise if I have to wear a mask I'll just wear these because they're super cute look at octopi I also have matching scrunchies for that one <laughs> anyways um it is 20 to 1. I'm not as gassed as I was earlier, so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to go make myself some food because I'm quite peckish and then see how I'm feeling after that. Maybe I'll still have a nap. I don't know, but I also need to text my friend who is picking me up for D&D &D to be like, can we stop and get snacks on the way? Because I have no snacks. So that's where we're at. I'm going to go for now and I'll check in with you in a bit. All right, so I've got... My D&D stuff, I've got my scrunchies and my embroidery stuff for tonight. That stuff needs to get packed. And um, we're, we're on like take 40. <laughs> so I'm going to go through, see what else I can get rid of. There's some food that I need to get in. Here's some more stuff. And then I realized I don't need to bring two pairs of shoes. Uh, runners, that is. So I need to get my runners out of here <laughs> and they're on the very bottom. So that's what I'm up to currently. Also, I put on makeup because why not? I haven't worn, I think I've worn makeup like twice this entire quarantine. So yeah, so I think I'm going to empty this tote to get my shoes out and then again, see what I can do. I would prefer honestly to do two totes in a backpack because I feel like it looks like less, but we'll see what happens. Honestly, mm, I don't know. I'm bringing like... The embroidery stuff alone is like half a tote, so. Guys, I am making really good progress. I have one tote completely packed to the point of stuffed. <laughs> and then I have this tote, which I have the rest of my clothes in, my blanket, which I didn't think I could get in, my switch, and I have room for the scrunchies, and I have room up here for other stuff. This is the majority of the stuff that I need to still get in, and I don't even technically need all of it, and then I have like a surge bar and stuff, but most of it's in here. And I put my oversized hoodie thing in this bag, and I think with it in that bag, I should be able to get into my backpack. So basically, there is a chance that I could get my blanket and my oversized hoodie and all my embroidery stuff and all my clothes and everything I could possibly want in two totes and a backpack. So I'm very excited. I mean, obviously, there's some stuff that I still need to pack that I haven't grabbed. Like, I haven't packed any of my makeup yet, but I think I should be able to get into that tote back there. I'll need to put my laptop in something. I need to pack my invoicing agenda and then a couple other and then th that agenda my brain it's stopping suddenly and um oh I can cross two more things off because I got them in post-it notes and my pen case so it's it's mostly just tech that I have left I also have a list here of things that I want to do before I go mostly it's just things that I need to pack but yeah so that's very exciting I'm feeling good about things I should probably pull out my backpack here soon it is 3 30 I'm getting picked up at quarter to five ish so I still got quite a bit of time I still have to change I'm in pajama pants or pajama shorts Woo, there's my knee um so I still need to change and um do something with my hair because it's a bit messy but that's fine and um yeah i'm feeling pretty good i think i should be able to do it so that's very exciting and then um what else i need to the, i'll probably have like a little reusable bag that i bring as well just because i'm planning hopefully it happens i'm planning on making bagels before i go out to bring out so they won't fit in anything but it's fine because everybody loves bagels and there will be bagels for everybody anyways I'm gonna go now and um, I think maybe climb under the bed and get my backpack out alrighty well it's been a little bit more time I've kind of cleaned up my room so there's not I mean 
there's still all the reject clothes on my bed, but it's not nearly as bad as it was. I piled my makeup that I think I want to take outside of like my makeup tray. So next step would be to pack that, but it is like 4.30, I'm getting picked up at quarter to five, so I figured I should stop, so I did my hair, <laughs> filled up my water bottle, changed my clothes, moved my bags downstairs, so I will be ready to go when it's go time, and now I'm just gonna chill and watch some YouTube, which is kinda what I've been doing, but slowly puttering and packing and adding more stuff to my list. As I went, I'm just, I'm just staring, I'm getting distracted. Anyways, I'm gonna go now, and at this point, I will probably just see you after D&D. Alrighty, so I am home from D&D now. I've actually been home for the better part of an hour. I managed to do a couple more of the tentacles on this dude. Um, the pink takes forever, the teal took pretty long, and I still have to do pink. And then I have to decide if I want to fill in the top part or not here, so... We'll see, but making quite a bit of progress. Theoretically, I might be able to finish before I go, but we'll see. Tomorrow, my mom and I have an appointment at 10. She won't tell me what it's for, but I think it might be a pedicure. I can't remember if I mentioned this, and I'm assuming I have to wear a mask, so got my mask for tomorrow and the matching scrunchie because, come on. Um, anyways, I cleaned up a little bit like I uncovered my bed I still have to grab the uh, so cutting mats off there because they're just such a pain to store like I'll need to when I get back from blind channel figure out a better storage solution for them but that is a problem for then while I'm gone I can just leave them on my desk or even on my bed so that's where we're at and um, I think I'm just gonna chill for a little bit longer and then go to sleep because it is 20 to 12. So with that I'm gonna say thanks for coming along today and I'll see you tomorrow. Good night.